Next on the agenda, I want to add a facade. And exactly what I want to do is convert our current press class into a facade. But furthermore, I want to also register as a singleton. Now this is going to allow us to have a single instance of press and it will make a little bit more sense for the configuration file to be in there. That way it is only fetched once because currently what is really happening is we're calling it statically and every time we call it, it fires up that class and it has to go fetch the config and do all the things that it needs to do. When in reality, we can register as a singleton in our entire app, bind that into the container and then just request it whenever we need it. That's a much better approach for this. So to get started, let's go to the press based service provider and add a new method here. Now we're going to register a new facade. So we're going to use a new method, register facade. And let's add that method now. Protect it. And what we're going to do here is we're going to call this app. Now because we're inside a service provider, app is available to us. And to that we're going to call singleton. As a first parameter, singleton will need an alias. And as a second parameter, it's our function, which actually accepts app. And then in here, this is where we tell it how to instantiate this new class. We're going to return a new instance of VicGonVT press press. Now notice that inside of here, I am actually giving a fully qualified name. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I am using press up here in my route configuration and I'll probably use it a couple of more times before we finish this package. So to avoid any confusion in the singleton version, I'm going to give it the full namespace and then I'm going to import my facade for these other instances. So that is all we need inside this register facades. Now in terms of directory, we do need to add a new directory inside my source directory called facades and inside facades I'm going to add a new PHP class that I'm going to call press. If you have never made a facade from scratch the documentation on Laravel is awesome and it will guide you through creating this and it's a very similar process on a project as it is on a package. So this is mostly review but they are very useful and in the right cases they are the perfect solution. So as we've done before we're going to extend facade and that's illuminate support facades facade. So the plural and then singular. And inside of here, all we need to do is override the get facades accessor, right? So this is a protected static function. We can delete all of that and we can simply return press as a string where press the string belongs to our singleton press. So it's going to look inside the service container for the keyword press and then it's just going to return that as a facade. And that's how facades work. So now we're going to have to adapt some of the code that we've already written. So let's do that now. In the service provider, we have been using press, but now I'm going to have to actually use the facade. So up at the top, I'm simply going to use the GonVT press facades press. So now when I call this inside the route configuration, this will actually be calling the facade. Now in my press class, I do need to remove all of the static calls that we had before. So we're going to convert this methods to just regular public functions. Remember facades, they get called as a static function and they look like you're calling a static method, but you're not. You are actually calling a real class that did get instantiated. So in our class, we no longer need the static keywords. Okay. Now let's go ahead and back to the browser, hit refresh and boom, it blows up. And this may be a little confusing at first. And if you don't quite understand how the service container gets built up, this might throw you for a loop. But the thing to remember here is the order where we had an issue was in our order. We are registering our routes before we register our facades. Yet our routes are actually trying to use our facade. So obviously that will not work. We simply just need to flip this. We need to register our facades first and then register our routes. Let's try that one more time. Refresh and sure enough, we are working. One last thing I do want to check is our command. Let's run that now. PHP artisan press process. 
And sure enough, we're also having some issues there. Let's go ahead and fix those very quickly. Process command. And right now, if we look at the top and look at our use statements, aside from having a couple of unused here that we don't need, let's go ahead and clean that up right now. But you see here, we are calling press press directly. I'm gonna delete that line. And then down here, I'm gonna re-import this class. And this time, instead of choosing my press class, I'm going to choose the press facade. And let's run the command one more time. And we're back to where we were before. With that, we have a working press facade for our package.